the challenge is Optimus Prime is already a robot. A robot, yeah. yeah. So to make a robot even more mecha ish, that's the challenge. That's the challenge, right? Booms. Booms. Alright, guys, we are back with another episode of unboxing, and this week we are unboxing episode Optimus Prime. Wow! Whoa! Before we begin, remember to like this video, share this video with friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you guys don't miss out a video that we upload every other week. Just spam the ding button. Ding 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 ding. Let's take a look at the packaging. But let's start with the top. We have the Autobots and Clock 2's logo. Spot UV with black the, and black. the two logos. And then we move it to the side. We have Mechaso Optimus Prime. Spot UV layer as well. What's yes, this color called? Uh, pink iridescent yeah. gradient. And then you see at the side, we have the metallic blue outline transformer. Right? Ooh. But the other side is uh, the Cybertron thing. Which just stands for a transformer as well. And then one side we have Autobots logo right here. And then the other side we have Clock 2's logo. As usual, we have the for real verification card and we have the cert of authenticity. So yeah. what you need to do is look out for the for real sticker that's pasted on the toy, load out your money checks app, log in and scan to register your toy to verify that it's an authentic money checks toy. Okay, almost there, almost there! Oh, I'm just tight as f**k. Oh, it's heavy, sir. Whoa! Alright, there you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, oh, his ears. And his breathing pipe. This is huge. So we have the bad ears. There's like two holes, and then it's like the nipple thing. Then you just lock it. Lock it in. By the way, it's magnetic. Magnetic. Right? So just do it. Ooh, ooh! Now he can hear. Ooh. So you have this extra piece. Uh, just be careful. There are a few parts that you can take out. Like you have to take out the front first, and then his booms. Yeah. His the chest plate. This is this is windscreen. Yeah. Okay, so you put this back. This is supposed to go over. Lock. So over it's like it's like a wire is coming out. After that, you just follow the shape of this, and then you just fit it in. Then check out the details. Locked it in. Look at this. Oh, wow. this is super sick, bro. Let's take a look at the details. I'm sure you guys all can recognize this is. Optimus Prime mm. treated in yeah. the artist treatment called Mecha Soul. Yes. So Mecha Soul, you kind of roughly know what it stands for, right? What it's it stands for? Mechanic Soul. So basically, it's kind of like yeah, like even not just their appearance, but even even within them, it's all mechanical parts. Got yeah. has created that whole concept, and then he applied it to a bunch of different characters he does for his prints. Mm. So this is one we collaborated with as well with Transformers and also himself, and we included all the little details that he will give his Mecha Soul character. On to Optimus Prime. I just want to say one thing. The pantone, I saw the pantone for this. It's crazy. I mean, you look at the details, uh, just look at the upper chest area there. All the inside, if you take out the ears, okay, all the sides, all the pipes, pipes, all the painting, uh, have to go through a very painful process to get all this right. You see his helmet? Alright, like what Eugene said, if you take out his ears, you can see all his pipes inside and like they are like full of colours. All the little grills on the wiring, yes. what you would imagine a robot would look like. Yes. So this is treated robot, like a double yes. layer, you know? So apart from all that, right, I think Adam also worked with Clock 2 to add in all the battle damage. Like you can see all the cracks on the armour, like Transformers, especially Optimus Prime being the leader, you know, like he's been through a lot. Uh. You can't expect like a full brand new armour plate. You see, so at the back, there's like the armour cracks. Yeah. And then if you turn over, see his right shoulder, yeah. right, it has that little car top dent in aesthetic yes. as well. If you turn around, you look at the front, you look at the Autobot logo, it has a slash across the face as well, the weather loop, all the crap. Then we now we zoom in a little bit closer to his face. If you look closely, they even have the warning signs, the exclamation mark logo, caution sign, all on the side and all, all over, right? That's also included in a lot of uh, Clock 2 smack us all prints. You know all the details, he yeah. will put them over, I mean, right? if you guys can check out Clock, Clock 2 Instagram and then you can see his illustration and everything, it's super detailed, super, detailed. super crazy. You will never imagine it like being made into a product. Mm. Even at the back, yeah, at, at the, the bottom, bottom of the bus, right? Look at it! All the yeah. wires yeah, the and internal. So the even his spine also has like mecha, Aesthetic, even. even the windscreen, even like the, the small little screws. Can you look at his armor on his face? Yeah, the armor on his face with the battle damage and then the, the breathing holes. Oh, yeah, the. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, just look at the top of his head, this small little wire. And Whoa! Then this is yeah. Crazy. We have one last special feature that we include yes. in this. If you look at his eyes and then you turn it around, there's a little USB port right here. Yes. Right? It's actually the Android wire. PowerPoint. Mm. So what you can do is connect to it, plug it into a power source, and the eyes will light up. Bling bling. To bring this piece to the next level, like 
boom, yeah. there's light, and then it's like the piece come to life. When Kong Hoon designs his Mecha Soul character, somehow he's always able to bring out the Mecha Soul element and also still keep the character's identity mm. there. Mm. I don't think it's easy to give Optimus Prime your style and yet still make it stay like Optimus Prime. Right? I think the challenge is Optimus Prime is already a robot. A robot, yeah. yeah. So to make a robot even more Mecha ish, that's the challenge. That's the challenge, right? So let's talk a little bit about Clock 2. Uh. Clock 2 is one of the first artists we've worked with. It's basically. not our first time working with him. But yeah, it's our yeah. first time working with this Mecha Soul series. We brought it back to life because he, he did one collaboration with Casio. So it's this hand and it came together with a Casio. We did an event exclusive which is the clear one. So the whole hand is clear but we still retain the, the mechanical details as well. Yeah. And it came with a event exclusive Casio. There was one amazing collab that like I remember working with. Of course, we worked with Clock 2 wait, from years back, alright, we released the War Mouse, a bunch of Hell Lotus series. Yes. Also, if I'm not wrong, I think we did uh, Toshineko as well, the Super Cute Cat series mm, thing. Mm, mm. Yeah, so he has a whole range of styles, but I think Mecha Soul is the art style that kind of really solidify him as a top tier mm. artist in Singapore. He also has another partner called Ink. They are like graffiti artists by nature as well. They are basically multi faceted artists that based in Singapore. They're super dope. They go around and do graffiti prints and here and there. Previously, I think they did release a book about their art travel wonders. Now their works that they have printed all over the world. Uh. Alright, size of toy. Let's go. 10 inches wide. 10 inches wide and... 7 inches long. 7 oh. inches long. 10 minutes! <laughs> Here's a chance to win a Mechasol Optimus Prime by Clock2. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and look out for the giveaway question in the video. Leave your answers down in the comment section below. we we'll select our favourite answer and announce the winner in the comment section on the 9th June, 9am Eastern Time. Check out our other videos on the Mighty Jacks YouTube channel as well. See you all next time!